Today is my last day in Ottawa. Actually, my last half day in Ottawa because I have to be back in Montreal by four o'clock this afternoon for work. So the movers came yesterday, the house is empty, everything's ready to go. And I decided to finish my Ottawa stay uh, with a bang. So I called Sundance Balloons. And this is what I'm about to do. They have locations all across the country. Ottawa being the closest one to Montreal, so only two hours away and you get to do this. See the nation's capital from the sky. Bumpy landing. Oh, awesome. It's crazy. Brother Joseph and Etienne Montgolfier were the pioneers of the ballooning. And one day they set out on a balloon flight. They built a balloon out of silky linens and built a big fire at the bottom of the basket. And they had a fireplace. And when they would blow on it, it would produce a lot of soot. So what they would do is they would wear a mask on their face to protect their faces from getting all black. A little bit like Friday the 13th. So picture the farmer in 1783 in the middle of France where nothing flew except for birds, aliens, and dragons. Big fireball come flying out of the sky, crash landing in the middle of the field. It wasn't control landings like we do today, it was So, to prevent it from being shot, killed, all of the above, they all start carrying champagne. So when you would land in the farmer's field, big ball of fire behind them, you'd be like, hey, I'm a friendly, not an alien, please don't kill me. And that's how champagne began. Uh, so when we do land like that in the farm, let's say, we hand a bottle of our land on there, we share some of our guests, and that's why we're having champagne this morning. An awesome experience, a great way to end my Ottawa journey. And uh, how did you find it? It was fabulous. The smoothness, the beauty of the city is absolutely astounding. Are you talking about the landing when you say the smoothness? No, I'm talking about you. <laughs> ah! And Sundance balloons. <laughs> 